Jeff. Did you know there were 71 Elvis sightings in Philadelphia alone last year? That's more than Jesus. You have to stop watching those conspiracy videos, please. Some people say I look like Elvis. Do you think? Yeah, totally. You guys have the same chest hair. You could be his long lost son. We should have sex. Who? You and Elvis? Uh, no, me and you. It's been like three weeks. Yeah, um, how's Tuesday? Fine. I'll put it in my calendar. Okay, night night, Jeff. Love you. Fine. S and M. Sex night. Tuesday. Well, the cow goes, and the lion screams, meow, and the chicken goes, frack, and the rabbit. Hey, babe, what rhymes with carrot? Ferret? Merit? Uh, lamp rats. Oh, uh, while you're in the kitchen, can you grab me a cold brew? Thank you. Thank you all very much. Here, darling. They're waiting for us in the shadow. In the shadow. Hello? Edgar, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. Don't tell me this phone call woke you up. Okay, Mama, I won't tell you that. Your father wants to know uh, if he can throw out your old baseball trading cards. Yeah, fine. Good, because I put them in the garbage two days ago. Well, why'd you even ask then? Because some people have manners. Right. Anything else? Yes. Your father's worried about you. Is that why he made this call? He's a soft-spoken man. You know that. But you, you have been acting like, well, like not a normal person. I don't know what... Oh, say hello to your Uncle Pat! Wow. Hi, Uncle Pat. Who is this? It's your only nephew, Edgar. Uh, what do you keep to the basco? Yeah, how have you been? Anyway, what was I saying? That I'm not acting normal? I didn't say that. But I will say this. It's been over a year since your divorce. Don't 
don't you think it's time to start a new family? One with children. I'm gonna go, Mom. I'll talk to you later. Don't put the peanut butter in the refrigerator! What? Oh, oh, I was speaking to your father. Mom, I love you, but I've gotta go. I know it's an hour drive. But come have dinner with us tomorrow. I'll let you know. Bye. I'm making shepherd's pie. Okay. Bye. I didn't come here to see you. I came here to see my number one girl, Princess Pickles. Such a good girl. God, did you fall into Such a vat of cologne and neglect, you freak? She's just jealous of our relationship, isn't that right, Princess Pickles? Honey, can you toss me up my skinny jeans? All I have up here are baggy jeans. Uh, just a minute. Oh, you should hop too. High society demands his skinny jeans. Ooh, I think I'll go casual today. Fuck off, Edgar. Is there somebody at the door? Oh, it's me, Edgar. We went to school together and then you stole the love of my life. He didn't steal me. I was talking about the dog. He's here to see the dog and now he's leaving. Oh. Yeah. I'll go. I just wanted to say congratulations, you know. Two garages, you're really moving up in the world. Call before you come next time. Hon, are you talking to me? It's not the ice cream man. I wish it was though. Some kind of safety drill, you think? Jeff, honestly, I've never heard a sound like that before. It was coming from every direction. Well, whatever it was, it's over. 
met the most trusted name in local news. Dale Shacker breaks down the day for you. Have a good night. <laughs> So you heard it too. Ladies and gentlemen, you did not imagine it. We're receiving reports from Ottawa down to Florida confirming what we're calling the sound anomaly. What we know so far is that at 6.13 this evening, a baffling and unnerving sound was heard by millions of people up and down the East Coast. It lasted exactly 2 minutes and 11 seconds. Now the most alarming aspect of this occurrence is that we have yet to uncover the source. The White House has failed to issue a statement, but our sources tell us they are just as perplexed as we are. We will continue to keep you updated as the story unfolds. Meanwhile, a fire rages on in downtown Philadelphia. Okay, but I don't own a farm, so I'm not buying whatever you're selling. I can see them whispering behind you. What the fuck? Lynn? What the hell happened to you? I'm gonna go get you some towels. You can have a seat on that couch. It's uh, it's Addie's, so I don't really care if it gets covered in blood. It looked like the end of Carrie. Sorry. Wait, why am I saying I'm sorry? You just tried to fucking kill me. I'll be fucking busy. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Emergency. Calling Ernie Ziegler. Oh, God. Oh, my head. You stay down. Edgar? Edgar, what am I doing in your kitchen? I don't know. Why did you go while Norman Bates meets the Evil Dead and try to kill me? Okay, I have no idea what you're talking about. You came to my front door, covered in blood, and then you tried to stab me with a butcher's knife. Good thing I took karate until I was seven. Green belt. No, I... I don't remember any of that. I was... I was laying on the couch with Jeff. And then I woke up on your kitchen floor. Okay, well, I'm sure the authorities will believe that very plausible story, you know, once I can get a hold of them. Wait. Wait, you said I was already I was already covered in blood when I got here? Yeah. Where's Jeff? I don't know. He didn't try to stab me. Oh my god. Come on. I will, I will repeat again. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are listening, do not fall asleep. Do not fall asleep. If you sleep, your life and the lives of those around you will be in great peril. This is not a joke. This is not some Orson Welles war of the world. The sleeping have been walking. Walking and killing. We do not know if this is a terror attack. We do not know how this is related to the sound we heard earlier today. But I, for one, presume there is a connection. The, the government has issued a state of emergency, but has remained mostly silent. It seems, for the time being, we're on our own. Thank you. I repeat, 
do not fall asleep. If someone in your house is currently asleep, wake them up immediately and with great caution. Wake them before they kill. Wake them before it's too late. We should wake the neighbors. It's a little late to be borrowing some sugar. Is Sarah awake? Yeah, why? Good. Keep it that way. I don't have time to explain, but don't fall asleep. You know, I've seen someone this delusional before in a cocktail of painkillers and cough syrup. The war is over. You'll be okay, pal. Just get some sleep. If you don't believe me, just turn on the news. Sure, sure, I will. Have a good night. It's so Mom? Dad? Mom, Dad, are you guys okay? Can someone answer me? I can't get through to anyone. The whole world's trying to make a phone call at the same goddamn time. I guess our marriage became a little routine, but I thought we were gonna make it. I really did. I thought we were gonna grow old together. But instead, I killed him. I, I loved him and I killed him. It wasn't you. I'm the one covered in his blood. Listen, I gotta go drive across town to make sure Addie's okay. You should come with. No. Sorry, but... Oh, I want to stay near Jeff, just in case, I guess. Oh, well, it might not be safe in here. It might not be safe out there. Here. I don't have any nails to put through it. Damn it, that would have been so much cooler. Thanks. And if anybody knocks? Yeah, I'll make sure they're awake and speaking coherent sentences before I let them in. Oh, I was gonna say hit them with a the bat, but yours is a better idea. Hey, Edgar. I I'm sorry I tried to kill you. Uh you and Addie were good neighbors, so... Uh, you're not the first person to try to kill me. My friends in college dropped too much acid and thought I'd be a great sacrifice for the pagan ritual. Anywho, I hit you with the freezer door, so let's just call it even. Deal. I'll be back as soon as I can. Addie? Guy I don't like? Addie? Addie? I don't know. We have to wake Roger. He's upstairs. 
Don't go up there. Where's Princess Pickles? you up what woke you up the dog screams <laughs> oh Christ are you gonna kill me I'm thinking about it Let's go back to our, my place, and I'll tell you what I know on the way. Can at least fucking change first? Oh, God. I can't believe they blocked off the highway. I'm sure your parents are fine. I mean, your mom talks so much, I'm sure she can keep your dad away for days on end. You know I forgot how much you hate my mom? I don't hate, whatever. So now's not the time. Listen, I'm just glad you're okay. I'm okay I am. I mean, I murdered my fiance. Fiance? Really? Lynn? Our old neighbor, Lynn? Oh, your old neighbor, my current neighbor. And don't mention Jeff. Edgar, look. Lynn? Oh my god, is she dead? I don't know, I'm not a doctor. Feel her pulse, damn it. Yeah, she's dead. Are you sure? She looks like a blueberry and she doesn't have a pulse. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Fuck. I shouldn't have left her alone. If she's gonna become a zombie, we should shoot her in the head. Well, first of all, we don't have a gun. And second, you need brain activity for what's happening. If we can't get an ambulance to take her, we're gonna have to move her ourselves. I just want you to know, this is not my typical Sunday evening. Are you still getting cable? I was. Stay awake if you can. Uh, if you can't, isolate and restrain yourself. Keep your doors locked and the lights dim. The basement would be an ideal place to wait out this madness. Assume there is no immunity to what is happening and take extreme caution. Ladies and gentlemen, if you fall asleep, you will become the evil that you've read about in horror novels. I'm the last person here in Studio 5C. I'll be signing off in a few moments, but I want to leave you with a message of hope. Hope that this will end. Hope we will not destroy ourselves when we're faced through the gate. Oh, it's just the power. Just the power? Just the power? How are we supposed to stay awake in the middle of the night with no lights? Uh, we can play board games? That's like singing someone a lullaby. That's why they call them board games. <laughs> can you shine that someplace else? Sorry. Great. One flashlight. No, two flashlights, and a battery-powered lantern, and a generator. And I still got a couple gallons of gas out in the shed. You take this. I'm gonna go move Lynn's body out back. Whatever pills she took weren't mine, so I'm gonna see if she has anything that'll keep us awake. Then I'll get the gas. I can do it. No, it's, it's... I can do my part, I'm not helpless. I know. Here. Take this. This would be a lot better if it had some nails through it. I know. Be safe. You too.
Have any threes? Go fish. Do you have any nines? Go fish. Oh, this is thrilling. Well, would you rather play gin rummy? Anything but this. I'm not a 96 year old woman. I don't know how to play gin. I'm gonna get more coffee. So it looks like we have some clonazepam, some amlodipine besolate, and some bupropriol. But I don't know which of these would keep us awake or relieve indigestion or make us constipated, so I don't think we can risk taking any of them. I think we have uh, not enough coffee to last a week. Well, we're going to need more than just coffee if they don't fix this. We don't even know who they are. Well, the government, the mafia, Twitter, whoever caused this, I bet they can fix it too. And what if they don't? I swear I won't hurt you. You don't know that. I mean, look, the name of the game right now is stay awake, and I feel like we're losing. Edgar, um, I'm really sorry about Princess Pickles. She was a really good dog. Yeah, she was. And I'm really sorry about Roger, your hey, fiance. And if you're gonna fall asleep and murder me, I'm just curious, were you sleeping with him when we were still together? Really? You're unbelievable. Unbelievable like a miracle on Christmas? You know what? I'm gonna go stay with my sister. Aw, oh, Addie, come on. I was just kidding. Addie, come on. Don't go. <laughs> Never mind. I changed my mind. I'm staying. It's my neighbors. Are they asleep? Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna go see if they need help. Don't. Stay here. Jesus! Easy, Paul! It's me, Edgar! I know who you are! Get back in your house! Paul, it hurts! I know, I know. We're going to the hospital. She's going into labor? What do you think? She's not due for those six weeks, but it's coming. Did you water break? Get the fuck out of the way! No, not yet. Close the door! Back up now! It's asleep. What the fuck are you saying, you crazy dick? The baby's asleep. It's trying to kill her. You need to wake the baby up. No, we are going to the hospital! No, Paul, I think he's right. It's tearing me up. A cough, a cough hard. Do it! <laughs> okay, I think he's awake. He? It's a boy? I found out the. I'll just down. Just couldn't help myself. How did you know what to do? I read an article in American Baby magazine at the dentist. Mom, Dad, Uncle Pat? Hi, son. is like a human GPS system. All the major highways were closed, so we took the back roads all the way here. Oh, Edgar, it was terrible. We saw a naked man in the street. Hun, that man was dead. He was still naked. Have some self-respect. Addie, be a dear and grab my bags. No. Wait, are you guys planning on staying here? Who better to spend ceaseless waking hours with than your family? We brought food, seven cases of water, and... The Neverlasting Stories, your favorite movie. Yeah, from when I was six. Edgar, how have you been? What, are you 18, 19 now? I'm 31, Uncle Pat. 
I'm uh, Edgar's uncle, Uncle Pat. I know. I'm his ex-wife, Addie. He read a passage from the Bible at our wedding. Classic book. Hey, I don't mean to interrupt this awkward family reunion, but... We should get inside. Everyone grab what you can out of the car. Sir, let's go. We take our chances elsewhere. No, I, I think we should stay with them. Babe, don't argue with me. No, I mean, we can all keep each other awake. I have a generator. We could run a space heater for the baby. We need to get inside now. We're not going anywhere without my scrapbook. I didn't listen to you. After you knocked on my door last night, I went to the general store to pick up some lottery tickets. A $350 million jackpot. Anyway, when I got there, the store was being looted. Some guy runs out, carrying boxes of coffee, screaming about the end of the world. I turn on my car radio and hear everything falling apart. They said it's because of some sound, but I swear to God, I didn't hear anything. Look, I don't know if this is the end of the world, but on my way home, I see a woman shoot another woman in the head. She looked dehumanized, like she wasn't a person at all. Thank God your Uncle Pat watches TV constantly. Otherwise, we may never have known what was happening until it was too late. I was just about to take my face off and go to bed. Your father thinks it's some sort of a um, sound hyper something or other. Well, I was a psychologist, so I do know my fair share about the brain. And that is sound hypnosis, dear. And I believe that's exactly what it is, activated by an altered consciousness. Who would do this? It's got to be Russia or China. It's always Russia or China. Is there, is there any more cereal left? I really like those crunchy pops. Sir, I just need wake. Sorry. Okay, first, we need to stay awake. If any one of us falls asleep, we wake them. We look out for each other. And second, how? long can we stay awake? Not long. And what if we run out of food? Uh, don't worry, it takes two weeks to starve to death, but only about a week to die from lack of sleep. Oh, great. So either way, we're dead. Always so negative. No wonder my son divorced you. Mom! Oh, your son divorced me. <sighs> People, you don't want to take these pills. They'll put you right to sleep. You want to take these pills. I've been saving them for a special occasion. I was going to stay up and watch all the Jimmy Bond films. That's 25 films in a row. But alas, my dream is dead. Okay, great. But we shouldn't take them unless we absolutely need to. I think I need one. Me too. I've already taken three. Look, we need to stay awake, not get fried on your little pharmacy. It's not a pharmacy. These pills were never even prescribed. Who invited this guy? Can we stop having this conversation? It's making me tired. Don't try to dictate our discussion, Missy. Uh, you know what? You should take some of those pills. In fact, you should take all of them. Stop, please. I know this isn't a circumstance any of us thought we'd be in, but that doesn't change the fact that we are here. Exactly. So let's calm down and start putting the pieces of the puzzle together. Okay. Yeah, I've got it. Okay, but you all heard what she said to me, right? Mom, knock it off. I'm perfectly pleasant. All right. Look, we need to talk about the elephant in the room. No, the gun. I think it's a bad idea to have that gun around. Bad idea for who? Not for the man who possesses it. Yo, what if you fall asleep? What if you fall asleep? I have to shoot you in the fucking head. Couldn't we just gently nudge him awake? Shut up, old man. Hey, he used to eat guys like you for breakfast. That's not true. Look, it's not safe for you 
or your wife or your baby to have something around that can cause so much carnage in so little time. Fuck no, I'm not losing this. Put that away. Who's gonna make me? <laughs> I am, you dumb, stubborn asshole. Put that thing away before you get us all killed. Sir, what's wrong with you? I will leave you, I swear to God. Is that piece of metal worth more to you than me? Okay, I'll give up the magazine, but I'm holding on to the pistol. Fine. I paid good money for this thing, and I don't intend on losing it. I'll take this and put it in my safe and blindly change the combination. Oh, you have a gun too? No, just lots of rare comic books. Am I taking orders from this guy? Hey, my son was in the gifted program from second to fourth grade. <laughs> what happened? Oh, he just couldn't keep up with the smarter children. <laughs> Hello? Definitely not human. This is not Space Trek Wars. They're all human. The question is, is it sleeping? Whoever's outside, say your name. See, now wouldn't the gun be helpful? I'm Hazel Alberton. I live a few houses down. That's Dana and Tom's kid. Hazel, where are your parents? I... I saw you outside on the street. Please, I don't want to be alone. Don't! We have enough people in here as it is. My house, my generator. My film noir VHS collection. Whatever. Actually, my money was used to buy the generator. Thank you. Are you okay? <sighs> Shower wouldn't kill her. God, I don't know. I've been just pacing back and forth all night. Too afraid. Why would my dad... I don't understand. Grab our stuff, hit the lights, we gotta get to the basement now. I can't believe yesterday I was using empty pizza boxes as dinner plates. <laughs> and since then you've obtained dishes? No, I'm just saying today I'm hiding in a basement with my ex-wife, possibly facing the apocalypse. And you missed the pizza box. Forget about the pizza box. No, no, I get it. It's like yesterday was pizza and today, I don't know. I'm not sure that we'd all be here without you. I just don't want to see you get hurt. You know, when you don't have the time to doubt yourself, sometimes you succeed. Then why aren't we still married? Because it's the other 99% of the time. Anytime you had the opportunity to take the easy way out, you did. I worked. <laughs> yes. You became mediocre at 17 different professions, all of which you hated. I enjoyed being a singing birthday gram. <sighs> well, it's when you started blaming me for your unhappiness. That's when I left. Oi, my back is killing me. Who doesn't have a temperpedic chair for their mother? <sighs> she did not help the situation any. Or a cot. Do you at least have a cot? No, Mom, that's the most comfortable chair we have in the whole house. Now, do you remember? You can't go to sleep. A mother never really sleeps. This doesn't make any sense. 
I thought sleep was like a brain reboot. People are walking around. They seem alert. It's the Russian government. Let's not rule out the Chinese government. Exactly, thank you. Screwing with our heads for some sort of weird government science experiment. We're lab rats. Does the who or why really matter? I believe we should be looking at the how, because it's the only way we'll find the cure. You think this has a cure? Oh, yes. Everyone is susceptible to hypnotic suggestion. Something or someone tapped in and manipulated the subconsciousness. We were not born like this. There's no doubt this has a cure. We just have to figure out what it is. My younger brother Jacob used to sleepwalk when he was a kid. One time he made this peanut butter and fruit roll up sandwich. It would have been funny if he hadn't used a carving knife. He ended up with 36 stitches. It got so bad that my parents had to set up an alarm that would be triggered when my brother would open his bedroom door. Eventually, he just stopped. I guess my parents never really thought it was over. Jacob moved out four years ago, but the alarm is still there. That noise we heard, it, it was some sort of altered state hypnotic induction being triggered once the brain enters these stages of sleep. I believe the sleep cycle has been transformed. REM is no longer the final stage, but the initial. The thalamus becomes active, sending so-called kill messages through the cerebral cortex. And instead of the brain stem sending signals to relax our muscles, it's doing the opposite. It's, it's saying it's okay to move. We want you to, to maim. We want you to murder. What if we cut out part of our brains? Would that help us sleep? Yeah, Uncle Pat, it's called dying. Where are you going? I need to use the powder room. I can accompany you. I'm perfectly capable of using the facilities myself. Thank you. It would be safer if someone goes with you. Oh, I'm sure someone as uncouth as yourself lets men follow her to the restroom all the time. But not me, little miss. I'm a proper lady. Really? A proper lady? You once called me and pretended to be your son's mistress so I would think that he was cheating on me. The only reason I knew it was you is because you mentioned arthritis three times in the conversation. I would never. Why don't we make a pee and poop corner down here? I choose that corner. I insist I go with you. I can stand outside. Making fart noises. What is wrong with this guy? Don't you dictate to me what you're doing. Mom, please. OK, fine. You always get what you want. Actually, I have to go, too. Hey, Pop, you mind looking out for my wife for me? Sure. Here. I can handle this. Well, let's go if we're going. So do you know the gender? A boy. Paul wanted it to be a surprise, but I found out a few weeks ago. I see. I told Paul that I must still pay this room any fucking color I want. I just so happen to love flu. I can hear you. Sorry, dear. She wasn't always. It's fine. Paul was always an asshole, and I still married him. Are you calling my wife an asshole? No, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean- I'm teasing. Asshole would be the title of her memoir. <laughs> this toilet paper is like sandpaper. Can you check to see if your son has a salsa bread? I don't think so, dear. What good are you? You in high school or something? College. Sophomore community. You think this is the end of the world? Maybe. <sighs> Makes you think, you know. There's so much I haven't done. Yeah. I've never even left the country. 
I wanted to study abroad after I transferred to a four-year school. I mean on an even smaller scale. I've never driven my dream car. I've never seen a sunset. I had a threesome. Why don't you shut your mouth? I'm just stating a personal fact. Stop being so sensitive. You should just leave her alone. I lost my entire family last night. I don't have a problem losing you too. Are you threatening me, little girl? If she's a little girl, then what does that say about you? <laughs> oh, fuck you all. I'm just trying to stay awake, and I couldn't think of a better way to do it. Why don't you go check to see if your pregnant wife is okay? She's fine. Why don't you go check to see if your mom's okay? You can ask her opinion of me, and if she compares me to the devil, you know she's just fine. What does that have to do with anything? Everything, Edgar. It has everything to do with everything. I didn't cause this. None of this is my fault. I can't believe it. They, they can put records on a tiny device like this. It, it's like science fiction. My phone is like science fiction, and now the situation we're in? I need more coffee. There's more in the pot downstairs. Thank God we still have water. I don't know how much longer I can do this. Please hurry, dear. There's a pregnant woman here that has to use the bathroom. You have to wait your turn like everyone else. You can't rush what's coming out of me, so don't even try. We've been married 29 years. I'm sorry. Don't be. You've been around as long as I have. <gasps> what in heaven's name was that? I think we lost the generator. I'll go check on it. No, I'll go. No, stay with your wife. I'll make sure everyone's okay, grab some coffee, then I'll be right back. All right, everyone stay against the wall. Hand over a flashlight. My phone has one. That's funny. I can barely see a thing. This is battery powered, so it won't last long. I'm gonna go check the generator. Make sure my wife is okay too. Wait, I think we should all go upstairs together. No, no, stay here in case, well, in case any of those sleepers are still around. I'll let you know when the coast is clear. Be careful. I was just about to start making shadow puppets. Stop acting like a fucking toddler! I know you are, but what am I? Mm. Knock it off! I can't stand either one of you right now! Why don't you go home your fancy fiancé you murdered? Fuck you, dickhole! So, the generator was on empty. We're burning through fuel a lot quicker than I expected. We need to think Is about everyone it. everyone okay? Yeah, we're down here. I'm so glad to be back in this damp, dark basement. Wait, where's Sarah? She went to check on you. Well, she's obviously not fucking here. She might have gone to get coffee. Out of my white <laughs> asshole! Sarah, don't make me angry! Paul, look. Sarah, is that you? Oh my god! She's trying to kill the baby! Wake her up! Wake up! Hey, the lights are... Reaction, she drank bleach! I never tried that. Do something, you fucking asshole! Okay, we have to, uh, I don't, pump her stomach! Do you have the supplies for that? I don't know, maybe in the shed? Oh, oh, oh. We gotta get her to a hospital right now! Okay, we'll get her to the hospital. Somebody grab her legs! Sarah? Baby? 
Are you with me? We, we can't let her sleep. Sarah, come on. Dear, give me a makeup mirror. What for? Dear. Fine! Sorry. No. No, that's not possible. She can't be dead. The baby. We have to get the baby out. No! Don't you fucking say no to me. The baby's gone! You don't know that. We need to get a fucking knife. We need to cut her open. We need to save my baby. No, Paul, we can't. Fuck you, I'll fucking do it myself! Get the fuck off me! This is all your fault. <laughs> we'll be safe here. We have a generator. Paul, I was trying to help. Thank you. And in return, let me teach you a little lesson about gun safety. First lesson, safety must remain on unless you intend on firing your weapon. Paul! <laughs> Second lesson, do not point the muzzle at anyone unless you intend on shooting it! Put that fucking thing in him! <laughs> Lastly, Always assume the gun is loaded at all times. Gee, I'm not really sure. I guess I should check. <laughs> I want everyone to leave right now. Your food, water, pills, and generator are mine now. All of you except Edgar. I want to have a friendly, neighborly chat with my good old pal, Edgar. Ah! Strange that he's not waking up like everyone else. Maybe it's because I knocked him out and it's not a natural sleep state? I don't think so. Who cares? Someone needs to get that dead woman out of this basement before she starts to smell. That's true. A dead body starts to decompose immediately after death. I was pre-med before I was a limo driver. Edgar, please. I'm not trying to blame anyone. But since it was mostly your fault... My fault? She drank bleach, Mom. And whose bleach was it? It certainly wasn't your father's. I personally never used bleach. Oh, I know where you got the idea to use bleach. Oh, fucking Christ, will you shut the fuck up? Your son's trying to save your life, trying to save all of our lives. He's not doing a very good job. If he would have listened to me and stayed far away from you, he wouldn't be such a failure. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, because of me, your son's a failure. I am just saying. Son, let's bring this poor girl upstairs. No, no, go on, Mom. I want to hear about how much of a failure I am. Me too. Uh, I had... The fuck hit me. I did. Now shut up, or she'll do it again. Don't talk to me that way, you bitch. Or what? You'll stop liking me? If you come over here, I'll show you. Sarah? I'm sorry. Here, I have an ibuprofen for your head. Well, fuck yourself with a razor blade. Stop. I know we're all tired, but we have to be civil, even to the worst of us. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. Wait a minute. Did I turn into one of those things when I was out? I didn't, did I? I knew it. I didn't hear a sound. I didn't hear a fucking sound. I'm immune! It'll be sundown. We need to get more gas to power the generator to keep these lights on. Great, let me out. 
we can siphon gas from the cars out front. Have you ever done that before? No, I, I think you can just, like, suck it from a hose. <clears throat> yeah, if you want to poison yourself. We need two pieces of clear tubing, one long enough to go directly into the tank. Also, I need a rag to create a seal around the gas receptacle. I have the tubing at my house. My dad works, worked for AAA. Uncle Pat, you want to help Hazel? There are seven of us left? Yes. And there are eight single serving bags of potato chips left? Yes. And if you help Hazel, you can have the unclaimed bag of potato chips. I'm on it. Well, let me out. I didn't mean it. I can help. Addie, can you keep an eye on him? Okay. Let me out. I'll kill you all. There are gas cans out in the trunk. Dad, you ready? What about your mother? Here. Try not to fall asleep. You're all a bunch of dead people walking. <laughs> you hear me? You're all gonna die. You hear me? three quarters full. Nobody told me I'd be doing manual labor on this vacation. You know, I could use a cigarette. You really think it'd be a good idea to smoke right now? Well, as my father said, it's never a good time to do something bad. So if you're going to do something bad, do it all the time. Well, that explains a lot. Okay, it's three quarters full. Get up! Oh, I think they intend to do us harm. Run! Son, none of this is your fault. exercising again. Thank God for that. Cigarettes! <laughs> we need to hurry. Sun's going down. They've been gone for over a half hour. I hope they're okay. He gets to sleep. We're here killing ourselves, trying to stay awake, and that asshole gets to sleep. You know, it might help if we talked. We're all in the same boat here. If you have nothing nice to say. Why do you hate me so much? You ask me that after what you did to my baby boy. Oh, come on. You hated me long before Edgar and I got divorced. When we first met, you shook my hand and then turned to Edgar and said, I don't think it's a good fit. Wasn't I right? Look what happened. Can't you just admit that we need each other right now? That we all need each other? You may have been married to my son, but you were never part of the family. I will never need you. Oh, I think they're back. We have the gas. It should last us through the night.
you still have the cigarettes? Oh, so now you want to kill yourself. You better not smoke that in here, Missy. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. 1033! Guys, we're almost out of Adderall. We need to do something. She's right. We can't just wait this out. We gotta start thinking of a plan. A plan? We don't even know what the hell is going on. Maybe we should find out. Maybe somebody should purposely fall asleep. Oh, that's bad shit. Not if the person's restrained. Plus, maybe they'll be able to get some needed sleep. Uh, I don't think we should risk it. I'll do it. B-33! Are you sure? No, no, we can think of something else. About 10 minutes ago, I think I had a micro nap. I blinked, and my body had shifted about two feet without me remembering moving. I don't think I'll be able to stay awake much longer. I don't want to hurt anyone. You could have fooled us. Dear, please. Don't dear please me. She oh. could have killed us all. OK. I'll get some rope. Oh, come on. I was just about to get double bingo here. We'll let you sleep for as long as we can. You don't have to do this. It's okay. She already said yes. Stop trying to talk her out of it. Do you need some Ativan? No, but you can press the play button on my phone. Good luck. What? Thanks. Can you guys all stop staring at me? Everybody turn around. She's just a kid. I know. This better work or you're in big trouble. Okay, but right now I need you to be quiet. <sighs> Edgar, I, I need you to know something. If this doesn't work, I want you to know that I... Don't worry about the girl in the corner. I checked. She's walking. She's awake. And she's insane. No, I think mean, she's sleeping. There's no reason to scream. The shadows are coming off the walls. And they're whispering. 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 What is she talking about? I don't know. Hazel? Hazel, are you awake? We need to wake her up. Not yet. It's almost over, Mom. Don't do that. See what she does. I'll only untie the one arm. Dad, I don't know if that's a good idea. There are no weapons for her to grab, and we're all here. We have to see what we're dealing with. <laughs> this is insanity. What the fuck is going on? Mom, be careful. Don't hold him down! Oh, of course he drink bleach too! No, I think he's having a seizure. Sleep deprivation can cause him. Son, turn him on his side so he doesn't choke! Seemed like a good kid. This was my last sheet. Hopefully, we won't need any more. 
We should, uh, consider burying them. Okay, son. There's so much blood in the basement. Oh, the smell. We shouldn't go down there anymore. This is not my fault. I didn't say that. You don't have to. It's in your tone. Look, all I'm saying is that we should stay up here. The sun's coming up. We shouldn't hide anymore. Sure, that's all you were saying. None of us are to blame for this. Not you, not Edgar. Edgar! My sweet baby boy! Son. Edgar has a brother? Had. He was a stillborn. Edgar doesn't know about his brother. Uh, unless his loose-lipped father told him. I'm sorry. No, you're not. It wasn't my intention to steal your son away from you. He's a grown-up. He can make his own decisions. I'm not so sure. And he made the wrong one by choosing to love you. Okay, I'll grab the shovels. Dad, we gotta talk about what we wanna do here. I don't wanna talk about it in front of Mom and Addie. Well, I guess we stick to the plan, which is stay awake as long as possible. We're all running on fumes. Actually, the tank's empty. If I even sit down, I'm done. I believe there's still a few Adderall left. We can brew another pot of coffee. And then what? Then we stay awake. Until the next person falls asleep and kills somebody? I don't know what you want me to do. I know where Paul's gun is. There should be enough bullets for all of us. Out of the question. You want to die out of control? Some sleep zombie that'd kill his own wife? No. And what do you want? I don't want to give up. And as long as I'm still awake, I won't. But well, we tried that. They all died. Not all. Your mother is still alive, and she needs you. I don't give me that. Think about that before you stick a gun in your mouth. Dad, Mom's brain is only hardwired to think about Mom. I'm sorry, say that again? Mom's brain is only wired to think about herself? Oh my god. I can't believe I didn't think about this earlier. It's a gamble, but I have an idea. Look, that sound pattern physically changed the chemical makeup of our brains using hypnotic suggestion. Well, if our brains were rewired, then couldn't it be possible to transform them back to their original state? Methodically undo the wiring. But how? by using the same method as the sound, I guess. Hypnosis. I've used this technique before. Did it work? Almost. Okay, well, what if the person falls asleep and then we're not able to wake them up? We wouldn't be putting them to sleep. We, we would be putting them into a trance. Okay, well, what if we can't get them out of that trance then? My brain is shutting down, Edgar. I think it's worth a shot. I, I don't think I can stay awake a whole other night. Like anything in life, it, it's a risk. We can try it out or we can wait it out. Son, it's your call. Okay. We'll give it a try. Who's gonna be the guinea pig? I will. No. Sorry, hon. You don't get to make that call. I'll do it. Dear, I, I don't know. You don't know what? No, it's fine. I'll do it. I should be the one to do it. The only problem is, I've already made up my mind. So do you really think either one of you is going to win this argument? Okay. Looks like you're going to be the one. Yep. Sure it does seem that way. So, uh, what do we need? A controlled space. Rope. And this time it stays tied until we have our answers. This has to work. We want it to. Hopefully that's enough. Oh. 
hope this isn't too tight. Don't lie, yes you do. Okay, I'll try to make this as quick as possible. Okay, but if something happens, take care of my... my engagement ring. It's two carrots. I will. Mom, I... Let's get this going before I have to pee. <sighs> okay. Now, I want you to close your eyes and relax. Can you do that? I'm a mother. That doesn't answer my question. Okay. Focus on your breath. As you take deep inhales and exhales. In and out. In and out. That's right. Keep breathing as you become more relaxed. And as you become more relaxed, imagine you're floating on a cloud, drifting through the vast sky. Now, I want you to feel your muscles let go, becoming loose and weightless. Smell the air as you drift through a beautiful sky at dusk. You're becoming more relaxed as you enter a deep trance. Deeper and deeper. You've mastered serenity. Now, you're going to feel my touch on your shoulder and that will be your cue to bring your brain back to its natural and pleasant state. All negative, violent suggestions will fade away to nothingness. And you will awaken in a refreshed state. Okay. I'm going to touch your shoulder now. You can talk. How do you feel? Relaxed. Good. Now, I'm going to count backwards from 10. And when I reach one, you're going to awaken from your trance and feel absolutely wonderful. Do you understand? Yes. Whenever you're tired, you'll be able to fall into a deep sleep without interruption. And you'll be able to cycle through the stages of sleep and you will awaken refreshed. Doesn't that sound wonderful? That sound wonderful. Dad, what's wrong? I don't know. We should pull her out. She's right. Get her out of there. Now. Okay. I'm going to count backwards for ten. Ten. Nine. You're beginning to leave the trance. Eight. Seven. Your body is beginning to increase in weight. Six. Five. You're beginning to feel awake. Four. Three. You're beginning to feel more awake. Two. Dear? Are you okay? We are... What the fuck is wrong with her? I don't know! Dad, wake her up! Thought I did! Two! One! Wake up! Stop. Wake up! We are... Oh, <laughs> 
I'll shoot you. I swear, let her go. You like my dad, the Edgar? You want to play with him? This little piggy wants to look at this little piggy. Edgar, my sweet boy. Mom, is that you? I'm bleeding. I'm so sorry, Edgar. Mom, everything's gonna be okay. Edgar, I need to tell you something. You had a brother. And even though he died in the womb, he still accomplished more than you ever will! You missed me. You missed me. Now you got to kiss me. Give your mommy a no kiss. You kids have no respect for your elders. Mom, if that's you, I'm sorry. I tried. Do you hear that? Yeah. Do you think they're okay? No. Tell you what, gotta love these $4 bottles, aged to perfection. Ooh, I don't think so. Look at that marvelous sky. Yeah, it almost looks like everything's okay. Do you remember that trip we took cross country where you refused to use the GPS? We used paper maps to get all the way to Cali. Of course I remember. We made it. it took us six days longer than it should have and we had to turn around a couple times because you started driving east. Yeah, it was an interesting trip. I was so mad at you for getting us lost or taking the back roads that I didn't appreciate the view. But I remember it now. God, what a view. I always liked it. I, I think I gave up on our relationship before we were even married. But I don't think you ever gave in. That trip is something I love about you. I mean, not then, but, but now. I mean, you just let go. And I was never able to. Not until today. That was a great trip. Well, here's another spontaneous idea for you. Why don't we get married? Again. And we can have a shotgun wedding. <laughs> uh, see, a shotgun wedding um, isn't a remarriage. You'd have to impregnate me. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm going to say no to the apocalypse, baby, but I don't see how getting remarried could hurt our situation any so sure. Okay, great. Then here we go. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, if anybody can think of any reason why these two happy people shouldn't get married, you can save your opinions for somebody who cares. Yep, that's just how it goes. <sighs> well then, I now pronounce this husband and wife. You can kiss me if you'd like. Mm. Well, mazel tov. Mm. And we can always get this annulled by saying we were super sleep deprived and beyond sanity. Mm -hmm. I'll keep that in mind. Edgar? Yeah. 
You did good. Yeah, you did good too. No, I... I mean it. You did really good. Sometimes... Sometimes things just don't work out. Sometimes.